So there were like 200 questions. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take the simple ones first. Um, I think we got 10 different people wanting to know, can we actually measure our own telomere length? Or is that impractical? Or is that something coming in the future? Yeah. Calvin, so, yeah, can we so, do it? Yes, we can, actually. So uh, one of the things that we know how to do well, there's a very simple qPCR-based technology for measuring telomere length. It's very scalable. Uh, our company, Telome Health, is actually doing that now for research purposes. Cause or effect? Are the telomere shortening the result of other issues, or is it actually causing the problem? <laughs> you want to take that, Melissa? Sure. So we, we know from experimental animal models that when we block telomerase, the, uh, we see this withering pro-aging syndrome, the graying of the fur, the atrophy of the brain cells. When we replenish telomerase, we get neurogenesis. We know there is a causal relationship. Can we regrow the telomere length, or is it once it's snipped, it isn't coming back? Or does it go in two directions? Yeah, telomerase can increase, so it's dynamic. It can shrink and age, and there's evidence that that happens in, in humans. <laughs> it's good news for me, at least. Okay, so I heard a word, I heard actually two words that I thought were just wonderful. A word we don't use yet, but maybe uh, it's a word we might use more. I heard the word health span. You know, for the longest time we've been talking lifespan, lifespan, you know, lifespan is up, lifespan is, you know, this and that. And of course, for the longest time, lifespan was health span. But now you're saying there's a difference. How long we live well is different from how long we live. Is there a chance of getting that thought maybe out into the world more, or is that something that's just too nuanced, you think, for the population as a whole? Yeah. Can, Alyssa, do you want to listen? Address, um, address? Sure. I, I agree with you that we should all be thinking about health span, and I heard some earlier speakers talking about that. And telomere biology is, is really more about, uh, about biological aging and health and rather than longevity. Predicting longevity is tough, and people can live long with diseases as well, especially with modern technology. Yeah. Um, so absolutely, I think the paradigm shift is about uh, slowing aging and living well. So one last question. I know I was talking to Linda Stone the other day, uh, Ted Medster here, and she was saying to me that she felt that there was a fairly strong connection between the use of technology, specifically screen technology, and continuous stress. She had a term huh. for it that she called screen apnea. She said that we just literally don't breathe as much when we're yeah. sitting in front of screens. Yeah. And so using video games or screens essentially yeah. is like almost a continuous stressor. Mm. Uh, any evidence of that that you guys see? That sounds phenomenal. Yeah, so I, I think this is something we should be thinking about a lot more. Technology in, in so many ways reduces stress. It makes us much more productive, but in very narrow ways. It also adds a lot of stress. We, are, we have uh, a very short amount of, uh, of memory span, and we're overloaded. We're on cognitive overload, and we're constantly bombarded by information and technology. And there's no doubt it adds burden and demand on us and stress. And the physiology while we're engaged in multitasking is very different than when, when we're completely focused. Now, there are even studies that show when you take away technology, particularly social networking, from college students, they go into withdrawal. Many of them feel depressed and lonely. When we get a text message, when we get these emails that look juicy, we get a squirt of dopamine in the brain. There is the same neural biology of addiction that underlies our response to receiving um, uh, social networking and other, you know, technology that's aimed at us. It's definitely an addictive process. Well, that's, uh, you know, two sides of the same coin. Thank yeah. you both. That was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs>